everybody, a little up and coming uh, neighborhood here in Utah. Do I have any Disney Pixar buffs out there? How about this house? Name that movie, guys. Okay, imagine some balloons on top of it, flying it away. They have done a pretty amazing job of recreating the house from Disney's Up. It's really neat. Anyways, back on the road. That's right, I found Mount Rushmore right off the highway. <laughs> I probably actually shouldn't have stopped there on the highway where I did. That was kind of dangerous. I would not advise that, but I really wanted to get the shot. And today, everything is in the sun. But there's a theme here today, like movie locations and replicas. How about this one, guys? Lehigh Roller Mills. Uh, although it's not open anymore, it does say there's a retail store, but the roller mills is not open. 1984, Kevin Bacon did a lot of dancing in there, guys. Yeah, this is a scene, this outdoor spot at least, was used in the movie several times of Footloose, 1984. I don't think it was actually shot inside when they were dancing, probably somewhere else, but it's still here. It's cool. Now we're here. It's Stonehenge, everybody. That's right. Or possibly a very elaborate copy recreation. Okay, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. I don't think it's quite to scale, but yay. It's actually uh, snowing. Don't know if you can see that. It's only supposed to snow today, though, tonight. In the next few days, no snow. But you know what? why I can put up with it? Because um, we're camping on the creek here. Yump to check it out with me, guys? This is strange or what? This is a free campground in the National Forest. I'm the only one here at Cottonwood. Again, my RV, an amazing, beautiful creek. While well, it's snowing, I know. And then look up here. Look at those mountains. Boy, it's been a while since I've seen anything this amazingly beautiful and serene. Uh, no cell phone, cell phone service at all out here. No, no Wi-Fi. I'm not connected with y'all, but you guys can see this later, okay? Yeah. Boy. Also, let's uh, talk about a few things, because some of you from around the area are going to notice that, hey, I'm nowhere near Lincoln Highway. Yeah, you're right. I came about 90 miles south of Lincoln Highway for the purposes of getting away to where it's warm, ignore the snow, because it, it's definitely warmer here than it is if I continue on Lincoln Highway currently right now in April. If I go up into Wyoming right now, it's freezing at night. So guess what? Uh, you guys and a lot of my friends have reminded me that uh, I don't have to stick to any particular schedule or route. I can change things up. So uh, I talked about national parks in Utah. I talked about Utah top three of my favorite states in this country, especially for RVing and stuff like this. So why don't you guys just uh, come along with me while I warm up and regroup from all of the RV work that's been done. And I just want to enjoy life and the river, obviously, and other stuff and hang out with Jax. Uh, if I want to, I can hop on the bike and I can ride 10 miles back towards I think the city of Mona. There's a service over there to get connected with the world, but I'm not feeling like I necessarily need to be connected. I'm feeling like y'all can live without me replying to comments. And um, yeah, boy, it's pretty. Maybe I'll also just mention, I didn't come for this campground. I came up here for the Ponderosa campground which is for some reason closed for the season. And that's a pay one with water and dump station and trash cans. This one's free. Thank goodness that one was closed because this one's so much better. All these sites are on the creek. 
and today is Friday. I'm the only one here out of 18 campsites. That could change tomorrow when it's nicer though. Here's the uh, front entrance, Cottonwood Campground, stay, limit 16 days. It's been modified. You can see <laughs> somebody's already, what is it? Six? Yeah, it used to say six. That's 16, that's strange. And then over there it says Cottonwood Campground, no fee required for this campground. So, uh, man, at this point right now, I could probably stay here 16 days and then I'd be feeling pretty good, right? Because 11 days at the shop broke down and now this. I probably won't stay that long though because uh, I want to explore a little bit more of Utah before Lincoln Highway. By the way, the RV is running fantastic. I have now put on 150 or 160 miles since the shop, since the last, the fourth shop. That's including the brakes. No check engine light, no problems whatsoever with the RV. It literally is running fantastic right now. And the great part about it is, is that I'm staying really close to the two shops that help me out the most, that being Les Schwab and Auto Motion. So if a problem arises, I'll be close enough to before I get back on Lincoln Highway, I can even check back in. But fingers crossed that uh, this is it. I love my RV, I really do below this culvert where the water's coming out, but look how clear it is over there. I mean, that is some, that's some clear river water there. All that mountain snow, Utah is saying that they only got basically between 20 and 30% of their normal snowpack this year. So on the news, they're already talking about water shortages. <laughs> Thought that was just something they always do back home. Nope, they didn't get much snow in Utah this year, apparently, so. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, looks a little different outside. <laughs> um, we got hit pretty hard, actually. Uh, there is a lot of snow, I would say a good four to six inches. Um, let me put on a sweater and then we'll Go outside and peek around. What happened out there, Jax? I know. It was all nice to start. Hmm. Kind of snowy out there, huh? Wanna go play in it? Actually, it's about six to eight inches of snow. Uh, I was wrong earlier last night. This is the we're nearest the city of Nephi or Nephi. But they said less than an inch and well we may be a little higher up here in the mountains at this campground so maybe that has something to do with it no we got more than a dusting here for sure geez i can't even find my footprints from yesterday <laughs> oh yeah i was sitting on that log talking to you guys Woo. well for some reason this doesn't bother me like the loneliest road did i mean out there you didn't have beautiful running water and uh you know i'm 10 miles in i can get propane so we're staying warm it's different it's different the no service thing when you have a job that relies on being online though that's a little tricky but i've gotten used to it now uh, some of you have pointed out in videos that uh you know eric it says there's 500 some comments and i can't read any yeah that's because i don't let the trash uh, infiltrate my channel and get away with uh, belittling people on my channel so uh, approving comments is something I do uh, on new video days and so if I'm, if I'm at a place like this and you're watching one of my older videos that just went live it'll look like there's no comments or that you can't see them don't worry guys it's gonna be okay it's, it's really gonna be okay I promise I'm gonna utilize this day to kind of organize the RV a little bit and, and get ready to go south. This may even all burn up before I leave in the morning. I don't know. Uh, this is a nice safe spot for Jax to explore the snow since he hasn't got much chance. So let's see what he thinks of the snow. Wind's blowing down some of the snow. Woo! 
What, what happened to your paw? It, it got, it got lost. What do you think? I think this is not the desert, Dad. I don't know where to step. Chasing some snow. This is probably the longest you've ever spent in the snow in your eight years. Do you like it? <laughs> is that a no? I don't like how far my paws go down, Dad. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. You want to make a, a cat angel in the snow? No. Oh, does, does that mean you're done? Yeah, Dad, please open the door. I know there's a heater in there. There you go, buddy. You shake your paws? Okay. A friendly reminder from Jackson and I, don't forget to order your Don't Be a Tater Hater t-shirt, sweater, or hoodie. Available for a limited time. Dark colors are also available. Look in the video description below this video for more details.